It says sharp sound. Come on in. Hi, are you Ken Sharp? I sure am. What can I do for you, Miss? Blackwell. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Nah, the midnight oil can wait. What's up? I'm helping out the City Post with an article. I was hoping I could ask you some questions. The newspaper, sure. Ask away. So, what can you tell me about this place? This place? We're an audio studio. You need any voiceover, music, or sound design, then we're your guys. Did you ever talk to a reporter named Jeremy Sams? He from the City Post, too? Yeah, I'm covering for him. Sorry, I don't think I ever met the guy. Do you ever go up to the High Line? That just opened up, right? Haven't been able to get up there yet. Do you know anyone named Gavin? Hmm, can't say that I do, no. I was hoping to talk to you about Tiffany. Tiffany? Walters, she used to work for you as a temp. Did she? I'm afraid we've gone through quite a few temps. Yeah, I'll bet he has. So, uh, I'm sorry. She might have worked for us, but I don't remember her. Do you ever deal with a temp agency called Sterling? Yeah, I use them to hire temps sometimes, when things get busy. Are you using them now? Not at the moment. Things are pretty slow. So, tell me about yourself. Not much to say. What you see is what you get. Are you sure you don't remember a Tiffany Walters? I told you, I don't remember anyone named Tiffany Walters. Well, thanks. See you around. I'm going to go in and snoop around. You sit tight. Nothing important back there. I can barely make anything out in here. It's kind of black. I have no idea what it is. I can't see a thing. It says, Gal Friday Publishing. I'm gonna go in and snoop around. You sit tight. Looks like a love letter, and it's signed Tiffany. 
Sounds like our boy Ken knew Tiffany after all. Come on in. That's an interesting picture up there. I don't recognize the band. Well, you wouldn't. That was my dad's group. They haven't been together since the 60s. What happened to them? They died. They died, I think. What? He never talked about it much. Who's that man in the photograph? Him? Uh, that's my dad. He and I started this place um, about 20 years ago. He's retired now, but he pops his head in sometimes. Are you sure you don't remember a Tiffany Walters? I told you. I don't remember anyone named Tiffany Walters. I spoke to a guy from Sterling. He confirmed she worked here. For all I know, he might be right. But I don't remember her. Like I said, we go through a lot of temps here. You filed a complaint with Sterling about Tiffany. You don't remember that? Have you ever worked with temps? Some are all right, but others? Well, there's a reason why they are temping. So sure. I've made my share of complaints, but can I remember any specific one? No. So, tell me, Ken, why do you have a letter from Tiffany in your desk? What? What is this? Are you sneaking in here while I'm not around? Is that it? Maybe I'm just psychic. Yeah? Well, maybe I'll just call the police. I just want to find out what happened to Tiffany. Look, whatever happened to her, it had nothing to do with me. Maybe you're right, but maybe you can tell me what happened so I can decide for myself? You're a real piece of work. Fine. Go on. Ask what you want. So, tell me about Tiffany? Look, you breathe a word of this, and I'll have the police on you so fast it'll make your head spin. Lips are sealed. All right. Yes, I knew Tiffany. You probably guessed that we were involved. I gathered that. I was working late. We were doing spots for a new TV commercial, and she volunteered to help out. I thought she just wanted the overtime, but turns out she wanted... Something else. So she came on to you? Yeah. She wouldn't take no for an answer. Look, I'm a married guy with two kids. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't help myself. It was like a drug. Of course, the girl was completely crazy. I should have noticed that right off. Were you ever in a relationship with anyone named Tiffany? Miss Blackwell, was it? I have a wife and two kids, and none of them are named Tiffany. I'm just following a lead. I was told that Tiffany was involved with someone named Ken. Well, it wasn't me. Why do you keep the letter if the relationship is over? I don't know. Nostalgia, maybe? It was nice at the beginning. She was crazy, but she saw something in me. I suppose I still want to hold on to that. Especially now that she's, you know, gone. Crazy? How so? My God. God, the girl was obsessed. Showing up at the office at all hours, stalking me, calling my house at night. She kept saying we were destined to be together, that it was fate. Even when I tried to break it off, she wouldn't take no for an answer. God, what a nightmare. I should have broken it off long before I did. So you did end things with her? God, yes. I had to. Even if I wasn't a married man, the woman was a complete head case talking about the stars and fate and destiny. She even started calling me Turtle Dove. What a nightmare. Turtle Dove? So I buckled down and ended it. And she didn't take it well. I had to get a restraining order put on her. I've learned my lesson, that's for sure. No more temps. And definitely no more affairs. My life is with my wife and family. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What a total embarrassment she was. Well, thanks. See you around. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Hello again. What? 
Look, you're gonna have to face facts. Ken is through with you. You're lying. Deep down, he still loves me. He just can't admit it. He told me himself. I don't believe you. Look, you're gonna have- You're lying. Deep down, he told me- I don't believe- Why do you think Sterling fired you? I don't know. It's run by an emotionless sleaze bag. I never liked him. So, tell me about yourself, Tiffany. Nice try, but I don't think so. About this Gavin fella. I told you, I don't know. So you say? No, I can't. You can't say? Why are you bothering me? Just leave me alone. Look, you're gonna- You're lying. Deep down, he told- I don't- You called Ken your turtle dove, right? That's private. How did you know about that? He told me himself. All this mooning? He thinks it's pathetic. He... what? It's over, kid. You want my advice? Forget about him and get on with your... Well, you need to get over him is all I'm saying. I... no. I need to hear it from him. Just one more time. From him. Hey, wait a sec. Let me guess. That was Tiffany. Why didn't you stop her? Because I can't touch ghosts? Right. Forget it. Let's just get after her. It's okay, Ken. I won't tell your wife. I promise. Come on in. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. Like I told you, I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What? What a total embarrassment she was. Embarrassment? Ken, you don't mean that. Do you mean that? Of course I do. With that squeaky, lovey-dovey voice and the way she'd throw herself at me in public. I thought you liked it! You'd think a guy would like that kind of attention, but she was so needy and desperate about it. Desperate? I was not desperate! It was fate! She said we were destined to be together, that it was fate. I don't believe what I'm hearing. We're supposed to be together. Gavin said so. I don't know why I didn't end it right then and there. But like an idiot, I just kept being reeled back in. I gave up everything for you. I gave up... I gave up my life for you. She thought I'd give up my entire life for her, but that was crazy. I only hope she found some happiness before she died. Died? Died? Am I dead to you? Is that it? I... I can't even look at you. I've got to get out of here. I need air. Whoa. Did you feel that? Feels like the AC kicked in. Anyway, take my advice. You meet a guy you like, don't smother him. He'll just run away. I'll... keep that in mind. Well, I think that's everything. Thanks again, Ken. Sure. You know, feels kind of good to talk about it. And I, uh, well, I hope you'll be discreet about it. Don't worry. Tiffany? You think I'm pathetic, don't you? Oh, no. Not at all. I do. Why did I act like such a love-struck little girl? I don't know. We all act stupid sometimes. Not like this. I couldn't stop myself. Why? Just because Gavin said we should be together? Gavin? Is that the psychic who told you to stick with Ken? Yeah, and I believed every last word. Why would I believe something so stupid? Ken was all I thought about. When he told me it was over, I was just angry I couldn't be with him. Gavin told me not to worry. That it was destiny. That we'd be together. It took me over. I wouldn't get out of bed. I just... stopped. I'm sorry. I need to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Hey Tiff, I got something for you. What is it? It's something to help you on your way. Just one minute. Look at him, working at his desk like nothing's happened. I'm ready. It 
feels good. The light, I mean. It feels good. Just head towards it. That's all you need to do. It feels like... It feels like Gavin. Isn't that strange? Believing his words, accepting the lie, it felt good. Wonderful. I want to hate him, but I can't. It's like it doesn't matter. We'll get to the bottom of this. I promise. Do you know where we can find him? No. He'd come over to my place. He'd talk, and it all seemed so clear. That's all I can remember. It's all fading. You better go. Thank you. I... I don't know what else to say. No need to thank us. It's what we do. Well, I guess this is it. She all taken care of? Yeah, I think she'll be alright. At least, I hope so. This makes no sense, Joey. Hey? Her death. It was so... pointless. Who said there had to be a point? She didn't even like Ken. Not really. Haven't you ever been in love? That's not what I mean. You don't just die of a broken heart. Not literally. Maybe. Maybe not. But whoever this Gavin guy is, he put her up to it. I think we owe our friend Lisa another visit. Hi, Lisa? Oh, it's you. Have you learned anything? I learned something about Tiffany Walters. And? She's dead. Lisa? Did Gavin kill her? Don't come back until you know for sure. I've learned something about Gavin and Tiffany. You have? I don't want to say it out here on the street. Can I come in? Yes. And that's it. Gavin told her to throw herself at this man, and it destroyed her. Tiffany. You should have seen her when she walked in here. So lost. Trying to find her place in life. Drifting from job to job, never finding what she wanted. She was a woman who wouldn't let herself be happy. Was her aura blocked as well? Look, she needed to believe that her unhappiness was beyond her control. I gave that to her. You hear that? She's doing a public service. Judge me if you want, but she came to me. And then you sent her to Gavin. Gavin and I have an arrangement. Which is? If I have a client who's determined to be unhappy no matter what, I send them to Gavin. And then they die? I don't know that, and neither do you. Just because this one died doesn't mean they all do. I gave you two names, look into the other one, and don't come back until you do. I'll be back. Sneaking through the Columbia campus at night isn't how I envisioned coming back here. Keypad locks? Those are new. Hello? Looks like the coast is clear. Looks like a bunch of junk to me. Well, we've learned one thing by coming here. Jamie's a slob. I have no idea what this thing is. Looks like a schedule of some kind. Every item is marked by a letter and number code. I can't make heads or tails of it. Must... Looks like a poster for a band called Epileptic Fish? Seriously, Epileptic Fish. I know what this is. It's a cassette player. I think it replaced the 8-track not too long ago. Those are some fearsome looking shoes. Looks like a bunch of junk to me. Just a door. It says, Remember Waterloo. There's a keypad on this door. I don't need Jamie's class schedule.
Looks like a poster for a band called Epileptic Fish. I've heard of those guys. I'm not sure they play together anymore. This looks like a class schedule. I recognize a bunch of the course codes from when I studied here. You remember that after all this time? It wasn't that long ago. If you say so. Let's see. She's mostly taking English and history classes. Uh-huh. Now this is interesting. She's taking the same writing class that I did. That's interesting. Well, it is to me. She's even got the same professor. Hi, is this Elaine Appleton? That's me. Who's this? Rosangela Blackwell. I was in your class around ten years ago. Rosangela, yes, yes, of course I remember you. It's been a long time. I saw you had a book published, is that right? Something like that. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, sure. What can I help you with? I'm surprised you remember me after all this time. Well, it was my first year as a professor, and you did stand out. I did? The coffee? The cup you spilled all over my desk? Oh god, I completely forgot about that. I didn't. I had to let those papers dry out all night. I wanted to ask about a student of yours, Jamie Graham. Oh, her, yes. So tragic what happened. Tragic? You mean you don't know? She died just last week. I... no. No, I didn't. Oh, well, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Did you know her well? No, not really. But could I ask you some questions about her? I'm not sure what I can tell you that I already didn't tell the police, but go ahead. What can you tell me about Jamie? I hate to speak ill of her, but she was a disappointment. How so? At first, she was very keen about her work. She was a brilliant writer, but that brilliance soon faded. By midterm, she'd show up for class late and hung over, and when she showed up at all. And as for what she was wearing, well... Let's just say it wasn't appropriate. What made her brilliant? She had a way of infecting you with her passion. When she loved something, she could make you love it too. She had a keen interest in Middle Eastern history, so it was no surprise that most of her work had Middle Eastern themes to them. But as I said, that faded with time. She stopped having a passion for much of anything, I think. Such a waste. What made her brilliant? Well, like I said, she had a you said she faded. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. I wish I did. At the time, I figured it was the typical story. Young, sheltered girl comes to the city and gets overwhelmed with the freedom of it all. Most adjust fine. Some, well, don't. I could tell she was troubled, but I learned long ago that it isn't my place to reach out. I remember you being a bit closed off once upon a time. Yes, well, we all change. What was wrong with her clothes? I'm no prude, but what she was wearing should stay in Munray's where it belongs. Munray's? It's a nightclub. It's a popular hangout for the students here. And Jamie went there? She wore their t-shirts, so I'd assume yes. Although it was more like a half a shirt. How did Jamie die? I'm not sure. No foul play, if that's what you're asking. It was a clot in the brain or something like that. Really? That's what the police said anyway. Why were the police involved? If she died by natural causes, why involve them? I wondered the same thing myself. The detective, a man named Durkin, I believe, wasn't very forthcoming. Why were the- I want Why were the- I want Do you know a guy named Jeremy Sams? Hmm. No. I don't know anyone with that name. Do you ever go up to the High Line? It's gorgeous, isn't it? My husband and I went for a walk there last summer. But you haven't been back since? No, we haven't. Why? Oh, no reason. Have you ever heard of a man named Gavin? Gavin? Can't say I know any Gavins. Is there anything else you could tell me about Jamie? If there's anything specific you'd like to know, just ask. That's who I'm talking to right now. So what is Munray's like? I wouldn't know. My clubbing days are long gone. I'd just embarrass myself. 
I should get going. Are you still in the city? We should have coffee sometime. Oh, uh, sure. I'm a bit wrapped up in the story, but maybe after? Sure, sure. You take care. Darkin. Hi, it's me again. Uh-huh. I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? I wanted to talk to you about Jamie Graham. Who? Jamie, a Columbia student. I was told you were looking into it. You get around, don't you? I think Jamie and Jeremy might be connected. Could we talk somewhere? Why should I do that? Look, you owe me, and I might be able to help you out again. You could, huh? Like you said, I get around. What the hell? I need a cup of coffee anyway. You know a place in Alphabet City called Cup of Clay? I've been there. Thank you.